Hi friends, my name is Jorge Muñoz. I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador, but for today we are going to continue our budget holiday around Europe. Last time we said goodbye to Matthias and Switzerland. Today, December 31st, we are arriving to Berlin after a nightmare of a train confusion that got us to lose a pretty expensive train and made us spend a night at a random station in the middle of nowhere with no clue on how to get a new train because it was midnight and everything was closed. We were hungry, cold, pissed off and with no train whatsoever. But in the end we arrived to Berlin a couple hours later than what we originally expected and with less money than expected. So we tried to forget it as soon as possible and tried to focus on that today was New Year's Eve. During our last day in Minefield we went to the supermarket to get Matthias some beers as a thank you and we also saw a huge Jagger bottle along with a couple of those shot type glasses with a pretty good price for the whole combo. I can't remember the exact number but it was a steal even for us, so we took it with no second thoughts and with the idea to enjoy it tonight during the New Year's celebration. As we would be traveling by train, there would be no problem with a big bottle. If you didn't know, Berlin is very famous when it comes down to the New Year's Eve. Everyone gathers around this Brandenburg Gate monument with fireworks, beers in hand and other drinks, live music and whatnot, to have a good time and make a massive countdown to the last minute or so of the year. It is pretty much like a party to receive the new year. So we went there and enjoyed the night along all the other people in the place. The bad news were that we didn't manage to finish the Jagger bottle. In fact, we were not even close to finishing it. So now we were on a timer to drink like half of the bottle before our next flight cause there was no chance to get that huge bottle into a plane. Luckily we still had a couple of nights before that. However, we spent our new year screaming and having a good time with everyone else and after that we went back to our hostel. As we were extremely tired from the whole train apocalypse thing from before, we just fell asleep almost immediately. The next morning, the first morning of the year, well technically I guess the first afternoon of the year, since we were feeling very tired from all that happened yesterday, we decided to stop being such a wasteman and head outside to do some actual touristing. We decided to visit again the Brandenburg Gate, since we didn't care a lot about that yesterday and it was literally midnight, but before we stopped by at this place. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. That seemed to be somewhat interesting, photo worthy and was right next to the gate we were intending to see, so why not? At around 4 pm or so, I wasn't really tracking the time this day due to obvious reasons, we finally arrived to the gate. We did the same classic tourist behavior we have been doing all holiday long, which is taking pictures like there is no tomorrow. In fact, I accidentally almost killed a lady that just happened to be next to me at the wrong moment at the wrong place. The gate was pretty and all along with the plaza, but there was not much else to see, so then at around 4.45 pm we moved a couple hundred meters to the memorial to Jews. I think it is pretty awesome that without forgetting the past, we can still make this a nice place for the future generations to enjoy. Of course, with the appropriate respect of what the memorial actually means. So we spent maybe like another 45 minutes inside here and around the place.
at 5.30 p.m. or so we started walking to our last point of interest of the day, which was the Charlie checkpoint. It was a nice little thing to see, along with a little more history to learn and a small piece of what remains of the Berlin Wall that was part of the exhibition. Finally, at around 7 p.m., when there was absolutely nothing more to do nearby, we returned to our hostel and had a quiet rest of the night. The next day, the 2nd of January, since it would be our last day in Berlin, I wanted to spend it as productively as I could, but Asensio wasn't on board with me on this one. I woke up very early in the morning and tried to woke him up but he had other plans in mind, so he stayed in bed. However, I would have to spend my last day in Germany without my only friend in Europe. Hashtag sad. So, at 8 a.m. in the morning, I headed to the East Side Gallery, a very big part of the wall that is still standing and that people nowadays love taking pictures with, just like I do. It was a very long part of the wall, longer than what I expected, but I walked it all until somehow my mind got distracted by a very pretty and curious neighborhood in the middle of the city with this pretty park and a beautiful church in the middle. I think it is called St. Michael's Church. It was something that I didn't plan out, but it was just such a weird place. Almost like a sanctuary of calmness and quietness in the middle of the chaos of the city. I loved it. The birds were singing, there was a couple of grandpas nearby, so I practically had this place all for myself to enjoy. I don't know if it is just me, but... It even gives me some vibes from the Temple of Time of Hyrule from the Ocarina of Time. After I took some photos and videos of this beautiful place that came out out of nowhere, I spent a solid hour or so just enjoying the air of the park, the silence and the nice view it had. So, at around 10.30 am, I decided to move on to my next destination, this time a little bit more planned out. And for my fortune, this nice stop was already kind of in the path of where I was going to go anyways. So, that made the church even better. I walked through the city for 30 minutes with my tourist badge until at 11 am I arrived to this place. Not gonna pronounce it either. It is a tiny part of the city that is supposed to be set like an old part of Berlin. It's a nice place to have a cup of coffee or tea with someone, take a couple of pictures and visit the old church inside this tiny town and maybe buy something from the cozy little plaza. Between drinking alone my coffee, looking for a souvenir to buy for myself, and visiting the church for no reason in particular, I did spend like two hours inside this village. At 1 p.m. I arrived to this very awesome other, more modern plaza with tons of things to do, to see, to eat and to buy. A very busy and crowd plaza with a nice skating rig in the center where, by the looks of it, I guess it is a fountain during summer. This place also had a giant needle-like tower. It was another kind of sky deck like the one in Chicago. And when I saw it, I really wanted to see Berlin from above. But that was before realizing that the waiting line was literally over two hours. I had no time for that. There was still some other things that I wanted to see during my last day here. Over here in this plaza, I realized that even though this place was full of people and very noisy with all the kids and stuff running around, I found it really relaxing. All this day had been very relaxing for me. 
like if I was taking a day off from running everywhere to catch the next train, bus or airplane. I realized that being alone actually wasn't so bad. I wanted more days like this one. And since I would not see the city from the top of the needle, luckily I managed to get into the wheel of fortune of the plaza. It was very cheap. I got to meet a random family that was sitting right next to me and still got pretty amazing views from above of the city. After spending nearly three hours over there, doing nothing but enjoying myself and eating on every food stand I found, since well it was my day off, I resumed my way to the Berlin Cathedral and the Altes Museum, which was just a couple blocks ahead of the plaza. In fact, now that I remember, that plaza also wasn't on my original plan, but I couldn't resist visiting it when I saw it. Anywho, at around 4 p.m. I was already at this park where the cathedral and the museum were. Here it is when I struggled the most cause I didn't have anyone to take pictures of me and the other tourists that I found over there, they all really sucked at taking good photos. So I had to really fight for a couple of fairly decent ones. Sadly, due to my lack of time, I didn't have the chance to visit any of these places from the inside. I bet I would have loved to do so. They seemed lovely. But after getting angry to the point of frustration with many people for not taking the photo the way I wanted, and me being too shy to tell them how ugly the photo was, at 5 p.m. I continued my journey to the last couple of places in the list. Two places that I had already seen but that for me were pretty cool. And I just wanted to see them one more time. Again, due to my excellent planning of my daily route, it only took me another couple of minutes to walk to the Jews Memorial and the Brandenburg Gate. The biggest reason for me wanting to see these two places one more time was because when we came yesterday, all the stuff they built for the New Year's Eve event was still there and we couldn't see the gate as it really was. But today, everything was back to normal. Now, I knew that we had some unfinished business back in the hostel, since tomorrow we will not be able to take the jogger with us. Today was our last day to finish the whole bottle. At 6 p.m. or so, I met again with Asensio back at the hostel. He was waiting for me to go together to the supermarket hunting for something else to help us to take care of the jogger. Long story short, we went for some more beers and stuff to eat, and Asensio was planning to take us to a party or something like that with other travelers with the same app that we used to meet Matthias. But in the end we got nothing out of it, and we ended up drinking god knows how many beers and the entire bottle of Jagger with this random friendly dude that showed up and asked us if he could drink his own beers with us. So yeah, that night we met another new friend. If you want to know where we would be heading next, then click the video on the right side of your screen right now. And if you found this video entertaining, then you should go check out others of my previous videos from this holiday in Europe. They will be on the left side of your screen. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.